Praise the Lord. It's Apostle Warren David Adams. I just came from the Seventh Day Adventist Church right here in the Bronx. And I've been talking about different churches. God been having me getting on different churches that's not of God. Even the churches who are of God, the Bible said we need to turn back to our first love and do our first works over again. I was showing the Seventh Day Adventist Church. You probably can't hardly see it from here. I had it on my other video on part two. People are standing in front of the church. Um, they're getting food. They're feeding the homeless people, which is great. It's good to feed the people. It's good to help the community. That's not, but that's not enough to give to heaven. Jesus said in the book of Matthew, chapter number 7, verse 22, Many in that day would say, Lord, Lord, have we not done many wonderful works in thy name? And then Jesus is going to profess to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. And that's scary that you can do all these wonderful works, feed the people, feed the poor, which is great. But the Masons do that. I was just at the Masonic Lodge yesterday preaching against the Masons. Letting them know that you can't worship Balfamet and you can't worship Jesus at the same time. Balfamet is of the devil. And there's a lot of Masons. But that's another subject. I already preached about that already in, on, in Harlem. But I'm talking about the Seven Day Adventist Church. Let me tell you how the Seven Day Adventist Church started. William Miller, an American pastor, predicted that Christ would return to earth on October 22, 1844. His followers gathered in their churches on that day to worship and wait. They experienced a great disappointment. Jesus never came. On the day that he predicted that Christ was going to come, he never came. So he lied on the Holy Ghost. As it was later called, and Miller disconnected from the movement he started. So at least, at least William Miller repented. At least he repented. He had some common sense. But Ellen White, who was the one who really started these Seventh-day Adventist churches. Ellen White, instead of her asking God forgiveness for lying along with William Miller, instead of her asking God forgiveness, what she did was that she lied. She lied. She lied. She lied on the Holy Ghost. And she said that Jesus was the one who made the mistake. He never made a mistake. Let me tell you something like Jesus Christ. God don't never make a mistake. God is not a man that he should lie. What he's spoken, he's going to bring in the past. Someone in the background gets praising the Lord when I was preaching the word. Amen. Sometimes when I'm preaching the word, people start praising the Lord because they start feeling the anointing. So that's what you heard in the background. I don't always understand Spanish. But if somebody's saying, Glory adios, I know that means thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But anyway, Wim Miller at least repented. Ellen White did not repent. She went and lied to the world and said that Jesus made the mistake of not coming. <laughs> Nobody knows when Jesus Christ is coming back. Not even the angels know when God is coming back. Now, what do you mean by God is coming back? What we mean by that is this. God is only coming back for a holy people, a bride without spot or wrinkle. You got to be holy to make it to heaven. I know we're saying God is love. Yes, he's love, but he doesn't love sin. He don't love sin. That's why God wants us to repent from our sins. So these seven day Adventist churches originated by a false prophetess by the name of Ellen White. William Miller was a false prophet who predicted that Christ was going to come to earth on October 22, 1844, and he never came. That was a lie right there. Nobody knows when Christ is coming back. But God wants us to be ready. So you got to be careful with these churches. Not every church is of God. God warned us about false prophets. In Matthew chapter 24, he warned us about these false prophets. Look at 1 John chapter 4 verse 1. He said, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits to see whether they be of God, because many false prophets have gone into the world deceiving many. That's why you must know your Bible. You must know your word. It's not enough just to read the Bible, but have the word of God in your heart. David said, have thy word, have thy head in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. Because the devil set up false churches. Ah, it's not enough just to feed the poor. Read the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Apostle Paul said, 
Though I give my body to feed the poor, but have not charity, it profits me nothing. Let's go to part three.